Covenant is concerned, God is constant. Man is always the variable. God is still faithful to himself, he can never lie. God is still faithful to himself, he can never lie. That is why I'm going to ask God this morning, help me to give my covenant to open you. Raise your voice and say, Lord, help me to keep my covenant obligations with you. The song says, God is a covenant-keeping God. But man has this character that is not steady with God. And that is why we have come this morning to receive help. Help in our covenant to work with God. Raise your voice and talk to God. Father, help me. Help me in my work with you. Help me. Help me. Help me in my work with you. Many times I've made certain promises to God that I've never fulfilled. And God in his mercy manner again will take us again. Lift your voice and ask God grace to keep the covenant. Can you at the same time ask God to send his word to you this morning? Lord, I want to hear you talk to me in a language that I will understand. Let flesh give way and let your voice be heard. Talk to me, Lord, the word of life. My spirit man is ready to receive from you. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you because your word is set to do the unimaginable in our lives. The word of God says your word is sent and it heals and delivers. As your word goes forth, let there be practical healing. Amen. Let there be practical deliverance. Amen. Let every business inside the calabash, every business be to the world by force of darkness, be loose in the name of Jesus. And those ones without any business, those ones who are still wallowing in the valley of indecision, Lord, enable them with, by giving them an idea that will turn into a business that will be celebrated in our half year. Thank you, Father, as all the praise comes back to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Celebrate God with a hand clap as you take your praise. It's a covenant of business breakthrough. And I welcome you to church because everything is going to turn for your good in Jesus' name. Our prophetic team remains empowered to go about my father's business. Empowered to go about my father's business. And this morning we are looking at a, a series engaging the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for supernatural breakthrough. Engaging the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for supernatural breakthrough. First Corinthians 12, verses 7 and 31. I read the two verses. See, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with that. So the Holy Ghost is for my prophecy. The Holy Ghost is for your prophecy. And in verse 31, it says that they con convert earnestly the best gifts. And yet show I unto you a more excellent way. So the operations of the Holy Spirit is limited by the willingness of the man. The willingness of the carrier. So you, you are the one to determine to what extent the Holy Ghost works with you. You say you can convert earnestly the best gifts. Jesus operated the seven spirit of the Lord. Apostle Paul operated all the nine gifts of the Lord. So you two can also say, today I'm stepping up my capacity and make myself a vessel that can contain all the operations of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8 verse 19. It said, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Say to your neighbor, somebody is waiting for you. Say to your neighbor, or have as a community is waiting for you. Now, here is the sons of God manifest in the energy of the spirit. The sons of God manifest in the energy of the spirit. 
until you manifest in the spirit, your physical manifestation will hit the rock. Until there is a manifestation first in the spirit, there can't be a manifestation in the physical. So the sons of God are sons of the spirit. They manifest in the spirit. So we're empowered or enabled by the Holy Spirit to go about our Father's business. That is the essence of the empowerment. To go about our Father's business. A wise son will not leave his father's business and do the business of the stranger. Our father's business is kingdom business. Kingdom business. Expansion of the kingdom. Doing everything within your capacity to see that the kingdom of hell is de depopulated while the kingdom of heaven is populated. That's our major assignment on it. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 2 verse 49. And they said unto them, How is it that you sought me? We still not that I must be about my father's business. He was so consumed by the business, he didn't want to ever to eat. Praise God. A small boy consumed with kingdom business that the mother and father forgot him, and for three weeks they were searching for him. The Bible didn't tell us that he went to any uncle's house to eat. That means he was on fasting on the evangelism. Kingdom business. He was lost serving the Lord. All the disciples were empowered to get out on a mission for Christ. So, what's the essence of the power? To go out on the mission for Christ. And that is what is called the Great Commission. Someone said the Great Commission. What is the Great Commission? It's partition into two preaching the gospel and making disciples of men, turning men to live like Christ. It is one thing to preach the gospel, it's another thing to make disciples of men. That is why we encourage winners. You have been preaching to people before now. Now the encouragement is that try to bring them to church so that the nature of Christ can be imparted in them. And that is where the Great Commission is completed. It does not stop at preaching the gospel alone until Christ is formed in them, the purpose is defeated. Receive understanding. In the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 9, verse 1, it says, Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And in verse 6, And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. That great commission. That is the greatest commission ever. There's no other commission that can come close to kingdom commission. Praise the Lord. So the more committed we are to going about our father's business, the greatest our access to ever increasing empowerment. The more we are committed in going about our father's business, the greatest our access to ever increasing empowerment. It therefore means that commitment to the commission is a spiritual charging process. Commitment to the great commission is a spiritual charging process. What is that trying to tell us? Because when power is not charged, it will definitely be discharged. Until power is charged, it will be discharged. Why do we put our phone on power? It's so that the power inside it will not be what? Not be discharged. So whenever we are committed, steady, in kingdom business, we are refining the power of the Holy Ghost inside us. That is to say, the Holy Ghost does not come upon an individual so that the person will not go and sit down. No. As you sit down, you run the spiritual battery down. So our commitment to the commission is a spiritual charging process. Praise the Lord. That is how you remain in power. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody is connected to power this morning. And your commitment will show as your power command also changes. Remember, the teaching has been engaging the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for supernatural breakthroughs. And breakthroughs is conquering new territories. Breakthroughs is entering heights. That your families and parents could not attend. 
breakthrough is becoming the first to achieve something. That's what breakthrough is. That is to say, all your family, no one has ever gone to the four wall of a university. And you did not just go to a university, you became a professor. That is breakthrough. Breakthrough also means that the things that is called impossible in a particular life or family, then God use you to make it possible. So breakthrough means you were at the back before, written off. And before you know it, you are now the one that is pointing the way for that should go. Somebody said, that is me. Somebody said, that is me. I wrote an article on our platform, um, our, my our full-time pastor's platform of my set, and somebody said, very soon, the bread they want to throw to us, or the floor they want to throw to us, will soon bake it as bread to begin to feed them. Hear that? You know, some people, based on their position in life, when they want to give anything to you, they throw it to you like a dog. And the person said, very soon we are going to catch that same bread and bake it to feed them to God. Breakthrough! Attaining heights that no one thought possible. Breakthrough! Is what God is going to do for somebody here that by the end of this year, you are calling me from outside Nigeria. Even without a passport right now. There is nothing that shows you have a passport. But when breakthrough happens, it will catapult you. Break local protocols, intercity protocols, and put you on international platform. That shall be experience in Jesus' name. Just recently, somebody, I don't know how he got my number, sent me, I know it's a foreign number. He says, one of your songs in the last place, Pastor. I kept quiet. And just two days ago, he said, I'm a kid now. And the person, when you look at him, he does not have the means to go to the middle. But when the first of breakthrough hits the man, the things that wouldn't answer were answered by God. How many of us know that success has many friends? The few you have, failures are not When breakthrough comes upon you, you become a success, a celebrity, and everybody wants to do this for you. Hear this. Do you know it is a a cost for the poor. A poor man will pay for everything, including money. But the rich man will appear in a place. Am I going to pay? No, 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 no. Do you know let all us do things free for the rich? But when they see a temple poor man, if you don't give me this man, I'll break it. Breakthrough is taking you above the corner of poverty. Now the Holy Spirit operates in diverse ways. And one of the ways is that you operate as the spirit of faith. As the spirit of faith. Here it is. When faith is a spirit, the carrier dwells above the strength and capacity of the flesh. When faith is a spirit, the carrier dwells above the strength and capacity of the flesh. The spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 13 He said we have the same spirit of faith According as it is written I believe And therefore have I spoken We also believe and therefore speak How to know when this spirit of faith arrives Number one Capacity to believe God to any length How to know when the spirit of faith is operational in an individual Capacity to believe all things, no matter how impossible they sound. When this spirit comes, you are no longer hopeless. You believe everything can happen. Can you buy a house this year? Yes, I believe. Do you have the account? I don't know. Praise God. So the spirit of faith believes all things. Number two, authority in your heart transits. That is how to know that the spirit of faith has entered into you. Authority in your utterances. I call it audacity of speech. Audacity of speech. The spirit of faith is a speaking force. And it talks back at unfavorable circumstances. Yes, the spirit of faith does not know which one is true. Everything I 
against faith, it reacts against it. The man of God, when Nebuchadnezzar did their work and took the light, as it was alighting the staircase, the neighbor who has already who has already gone to on his own gym was coming up. So the boat passed each other on the staircase. And that one said to him, Sir, are you going down to own your gym? He said, Point of correction, I'm not going down to own my gym. I'm going to the gym now to down my gym. I'm not going down. The spirit of faith does not recognize Job. It is not gentle when anything against faith is said. He does not entertain it. There are people when they want to pay you because you are working for them, they say, Hey, you poor man, suffer head. Come and take your salary. The spirit of faith cannot answer that type of suffer head. Keep your salary to yourself, do not say. I'm not a suffer head. That I am working for you now because of time difference. Does not give you the right to call me a suffer head. If you want to pay me, pay me without giving me bad title. The spirit of faith reacts to every unfavorable circumstance. Most times, silence means acceptance. Somebody called you and you can't talk. He said, let me not talk before you sack me. Let the person sack you and go with him. I can go with him. Praise God. So nobody talks down on the carrier of the spirit of faith and he accepts it. Most times when somebody is operating the spirit of faith, he's mistaken for a proud man. Praise the Lord. That spirit is upon you now. I say that spirit is upon you now. Why is it important to have the spirit of faith? Because if you don't have the spirit of faith, you can't talk back and remember the enemy. And remember the forces of life, they obey the last of man. If the enemy come and say you are useless and you didn't say anything, definitely, no matter your title in church, you are going to be useless. The forces of life hacking to the last command. If you check the story between Goliath and David, David did not have allowed Goliath to have the final say. As David was, Goliath was talking, David, operating the spirit of faith, was replying him. And finally, the one who had the final word won. So, by the spirit of faith, you move back from timidity. Nobody talks to you anyhow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit operates as the spirit of faith. And faith is in three dimensions. There is the word of faith. There is the shield of faith. And there is the spirit of faith. And the spirit of faith is the highest. The word of faith, that is for vocal prayers. To give authority to your command. That is what gives weight to your intercessions. The shield of faith is for combat. Some say combat. Combat. That is what you wear to enter the threat of the devil and come back on strike. It is for combat. But the spirit of faith fights for the believers. Three of them have different roles. The word of faith, you need to study the word of God to have it. The shield of faith, you need to be alive to engage it. You need to be alert. But the spirit of faith, even when you are sleeping, is still fighting. That is the difference between the three of them. That is why somebody can be sleeping and forces of darkness come to molest the person. Right there in his subconscious, he's fighting the person. When you have the spirit of faith, you can't run from any man's spirit in your dream. Cockroaches will not chase you about because there's something to counter them when they are being. So the best of the faith to operate is what? A spirit of faith. Receive the baptism of the spirit of faith. Next, the Holy Ghost operates as the spirit of servanthood. And this spirit makes serving God easy. If you don't have this spirit of servanthood, you'll be serving God, making enemies for yourself, sending many people away from church, using your authority, trying to enter your head, and all manner of things. Until you, the spirit of servanthood enters a man, he becomes a problem even in the service of God, both to God, to his church members, and to himself. 
Praise the Lord. So this spirit makes serving God easy. It deletes the master's mindset from an individual. It takes away the arrival mindset from an individual. That is the spirit that puts pride on check, no matter your level in life. The Bible told us that an empty symbol makes the loudest noise. There are people who are so full of substance in this world. When they are serving God, they can make themselves commoners, receive insults without reply. But those ones who don't have much, they are the ones to react less. <laughs> That's why most times I just wish that every one of us can be transported to some part of Buenos Aires in Nigeria and receive sense and humility. To understand that you have a car key that breaks the door doesn't make you anything. Because some people have trailers, 500 trailers, decades of lands. And when they come to church, you can tell them, idiot, that there's a God bless you. It is the spirit of servitude that can reduce a man to that. That you have everything. That you can call, make a call. I want to say, make a call. A mighty force will come and bond with everybody who wants to bond. But yet, it's a crazy. It doesn't know what it is. Those who have don't fight. Those who don't have that don't fight. Praise the Lord. Every pride in you is destroyed right now. I understand that the inner pride. Is the most destructive one. Nobody sees that one. Outer pride can be easily detected. But the inside pride that when you come up to do anything on the altar and you go back and yourself, oh, I did very well. God, I can just see why I did it. Nobody is hearing that one. But that is going on in your mind. You want them to clap. Oh, why did you clap for me? Okay, okay, they are clapping now. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. He said, Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted. The Bible says, Behold my servant. No matter you will walk with God, God can never call you by title. A man of God was saying, he said, and God said to me, Pastor, this. And we said, it's a lie. God cannot call you title. The highest you can get with God is servant. Have you seen my servant Moses? Have you seen my servant David? Have you seen my servant Abraham? God doesn't have any special title for you. So what this title will give us in it. So it's just to make what ego looks up. In heaven there is no title. Praise the Lord. And some people, if you don't put that title, problem with the first. Somebody could not come a because they mistakenly removed the emeritus uh, JP. You see? You know what it means for me to go to Jerusalem. And you didn't put JP there. And who are the noble? And that person sat down. The person that was introducing, I don't know if the person there. The person didn't, didn't put the PhD, PhD degree of theology. The man said, no way. I, 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 I pay my price to get it. The pen is you want to introduce it. I now better have the form of speech. I say sorry for the wrong introduction. We are reintroducing Bishop Archie Bookshop. And they put all the titles. And when they called the woman, the woman was not coming like it. the father of God. Praise the Lord. That's just to show that the person doesn't have the spirit of sovereignty. Hallelujah. The time you begin to require title to, to serve, you have lost your faith. Number three, the Holy Spirit operates as the spirit of might. What is it for? To build strength on the inner man. The spirit of might. And to assess the spirit of mind, you must give yourself to constant intercession. I'm not talking about the prayer we do in church. You are in personal prayer life. That's what you give mind. What is prayer? You are simply submitting to God that you can't. 
that he can. That's what prayer is. So prayer is the assembling ground of rich people. Because if you could do it, you wouldn't have prayed. So if you want to grow in strength of the spirit, give yourself to intense prayers. Some people feel comfortable just from morning to night. No time for prayers. That's a poison. There are some believers who are still careful. When your conversation with them is crossing their prayer time, they just leave you there. The next thing you see them is ah, then you go and receive strength for yourself. Because when we go for pastors' meeting, oh, how many people are there? How many people there? How many people get there? How many people? That's what we start talking. But you see some people, they didn't come to Canaan land to build or exchange, uh, exchange uh, church, church size. They locked themselves in prayer, cooking some stuff. When they return back, hmm, they rush on one. You want to grow in mind. Create our time in the place of prayer. When the believer kneels in this world in prayer, he appears in a solitary. And in that solitary, he can get everything he needs for the world. That's why Jesus, even though he was one with God, who still run out to the solitary place to pray. That's the only way to grow in mind. And one of the ways to grow in mind. Convert everywhere to a prayer altar if you truly need the spirit of mind. He said that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with strength by the Spirit in the inner man. Ephesians 3, verse 16. Ephesians 3, 16. The Holy Spirit also operates as the Spirit of judgment. That is the Spirit of brutality. So say brutality. The Spirit of vengeance. So the Holy Spirit is gentle, but he knows when to introduce brutality. brutality. To us, the Holy Spirit works like a civilian. But to the enemy, he is a militant. He is what? A militant. He is always fighting for the elect. This spirit of judgment helps you to know when a text is graduating into a course. It is normal for believers to go through temptation. But it is abnormal for you to continue in a particular challenge for a long time. He said, after you have suffered a while, that the Lord set to work and establish you. But when it is now a perpetual suffering, that is when the spirit of vengeance is needed. Praise God. I see that suffering over your life come to an end today. Because right now in this family, the Spirit of God is going into your inside. Walking, walking, combating with anything, fighting your organ. Whatever it is that the devil has taken from you, the Spirit of judgment is in this sense. And as I stand pronouncing, I say, let him walk the walk now. Everything that requires to go down, let them go down now. Whatever that need to be cut down for the rise, let them be cut down now. Amen. If anybody short life will prolong your life, let it be so. Amen. There is power of exchange. Jesus has said himself, die premature, so your life and live. But if any foul spirit say over that dead body, let it be so. I stand on this salvation mandate to declare that every enemy that has gathered against you. To make you cry and frustrated in Ohakia, they have touched fire now. They have touched fire now. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because the spirit of vengeance is in this house. Remember, it's a spirit, so you understand spiritual moves. When they go this way, you go there too. If you can be fighting an enemy from the physical and be missing the target. But when the spirit of pain has gone, he knows who went and who called, who called. He knows the devil. Most times, it is the enemy in house that tells the one outside what is happening. So the Holy Ghost knows the people who even sit together with you in church. Who are taking foul moves about your life. And with his vengeance, they are going down. And with his vengeance, they are going down. And with his vengeance, they are going down. Anybody that wants you to have their 
months from now, the Wakanda madness. Yeah. I feel the Wakanda madness. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Don't you know that the spirit of vengeance is needed for marriages to happen? Yes. Many of you, your miracle cars are in contention with the spirit. Your miracle houses are in contention by forces. They say, we can't allow it. We can't allow it. Suffering. The father suffered. This one will suffer. This one too will suffer. Will you allow it? I want to be aggressive right in your city and say, anything holding my inheritance, catch fire now! So the spirit of vengeance does not tolerate affliction. Doesn't take it. Other people can take it, but not for you. Because you have a different spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's our business breakthrough service. I try to be fast as grace will enable me. What is a business? Or what's business? The grand revelator of the Holy Spirit taught me last night that business is life empowerment. Business is what? Life empowerment. That means if you're not in business, you're not empowered. Life empowerment. Salary is not life empowerment. It is business that empowers life. And the reason why God put many people in salary is to fund their business. But many people don't know. Those in business are the empowered. The other people working for them are simply working for the empowered. The people who consider the idea to own a bank, set up a bank, they are the empowered. The people working for them as bankers are not the empowered, they are simply working for the empowered. He was talking to me like a friend would talk to his friend. And I have not heard it like that before. He said, only those in business are empowered. Until you have a business in your name, your name has no significance. This is a hash. But a true statement. And if it takes empowered men to create job for others, then the saying that idea rules the world is very correct. An idea is the manufacturer of a business. And who is the father of ideas? God himself. God is giving somebody a brand new idea that will shape or have you. Idea, I had Bishop Yeriko say some years back. He said, Idea is the new universal currency. That is the new currency of the world. Idea, idea, idea. What is the idea you have? Because business is all about trading ideas. Trading ideas. See what idea God has given to me. And that trading, that is what puts you in business. What is business? In our natural understanding, any profitable venture, anything you go into for the aim of profit, that's what a business. It is the art of exchanging values for the mutual benefits of the party involved. Either you render a service or you make some sales in order for something to be exchanged. You are rendering services to get paid. Or you are producing something to get paid. Or you are marketing some produce to get paid. That is what business is about. May I shock you? Business doesn't mean you must have a big office to start. Some businesses don't require office. Some businesses thrive just by having a phone line and making yourself available. So it's not every time somebody goes to rent a big shop and pay for two years. 
Now begin to say, Pastor, come and anoint the place. I have brought in a business. No. So the business must be thriving before you look for a space. Don't go and rent an empty shop and you pray and say, God, stop in the business. No. God created the land first before you put water. Don't go and pour water and you don't want to create the land. That would be dagadastic creation. <laughs> Imagine you create water first. You now need to look where to put the land. Get the idea first. Before you are looking for where they will see. Yes. I and my younger ones we read the book by Ben Carson, Give Them Hands. Three of us were inspired. We opened an outfit, the graphic better. When you go to our bar and call Give Them Hands, they will still tell you the three brothers, John, UK, and UT. But while that was going on, I went to help my I said, No, I want to do it in a different prison now. And I saved money to buy a laptop. So that any place I, I go, I can render my service there. And when you're to come to the office, one for the seven or two, or one for the seven as if you before you can see me. I had my laptop with me. And I bought out my modem. And with that, I will sit in the house, be doing designs for the headquarters of big churches. Christ Embassy, Mountain of Fire, all those big people, and they are paying me money in my account. I don't need physical contact with them. I send visuals of their work through internet and they see it. A time came when they saw the expertise that the pastor of Christ Embassy there, Pastor Archie of those days, you know, Factory Road. After paying me heavily, he gave them big seeds and envelopes. Go and give the God that is doing this. Because I don't just design for you. I have to bend your grammar and put it where. I am not a copy paste designer. Where your grammar is going to Cameroon, I know you are Nigeria, I'll put it back to Nigeria and put it where. So I had eyes for errors. That when they find, you could see beautiful signposts everywhere. And they don't say, it was Kerry. The beautiful work has been messed up. But not for me. I said, no, I'm going to do this with a difference. So that when I give people my price, they will pay it. I came back from NYC. I told my brothers, people continue to give their hands. Now I am sorry. I went to a three-story building, old story building, without any signpost. But people were coming from everywhere to climb that place. And when they come, they say, see what your price is say, If this is your price, see many good sides, go and miss them. I do it for you. He said, why is your own price special? I said, because I'm special. Because I will never tell you your work is by Tuesday and you come to Tuesday, the work is not easy. That is why I bought a laptop. I bought a laptop, I bought a jelly, kept in the office, put another jelly in the house. So most times, because I know I don't want anything that will affect my service with God. So I don't take any job that will affect me, sons. Me, me. So if I need to do all night to do your job, I must meet the date that we are ready. The man sent that fat envelope for me. I don't forget it. The envelope is fatter than men look here. After paying me heavily. Praise God. So you don't need a big office. All you need is a big brain for business. Is somebody still here? Yes, sir. Say, I still there here. Yes, if business is the exchange of value, what is the kind of value that you are exchanging? What value are you exchanging? Some people don't know that their mouth is also a business somehow. You have grace to talk. If you know that they are paying people for talking, They are paying them for talking. For talking when? You go behind the radio, you go to hear the voice. Hello, this is so 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 FM, this is a fortune FM and uh, this is the FM. We are reporting from life from Hapaya. <laughs> Nobody is seeing them. Many people are getting paid because they are going to find two their voice for money. 
That's when they pronounce anything. The way they pronounce it, you pay them. Just like when our uh, former ES, I found a man of was speaks me in Goshen some years back, and he pronounced a kitty as, When I was a kid, he stayed. God, even the devil should. <laughs> so a kitty is not a kitty, not a kitty. It's always a kitty. A kitty stays. So that person, some people have gifts in their mouth, and they are wasting it, wasting it. Hear the truth. Some people, the house are going to be your house, will be by your mouth. But put your mouth to proper use. Let it be a mouth of value. Don't talk anyhow. Or they judge you anyhow. Now, the major challenge of a business is the enemy called indecision. Indecision. The fear of failure. Oh, I know that uh, this place I'm working at, they're not paying me. Uh, I would like to have my own business. But they say that this is not working out there. Oh, you're not finished anymore. Indecision. Indecision. Another enemy is the fear of starting small. You are afraid to start small. The other enemy is the, the fear of failure. You have not even started. You are already afraid that you will not work. That is the enemy of a business. That means so many people are not in business because they are afraid to take Life is a risk. Say that to your neighbor. Life is a risk. If you are not prepared to take risk, ah, you will be risked out of this thing. Now, we understand that in this supernatural breakthrough shall be the core identity of every child of God. Supernatural breakthrough. When you see this available, he's an inhibitor of supernatural breakthrough. When you see Paul and Angel, he's just like father, like son. He's an inhibitor of supernatural breakthrough. You see David the Bioni, he's an inhibitor of supernatural breakthrough. And watch other ministries that came out from this platform that are also following the pattern. They are all, all supernatural breakthroughs specified. That is the description of the end time church. And you and I are part of that church. So stop looking pitiful. Hey, yeah, sorry, cannot change anything around you. You are not a subject of pity. People should envy you in your heart. Yeah? They should envy you. When they say, who can do this? They say, ah, mm, there's only one person that can get you in your heart. And they mention your name. That is what it means to be an end time soldier. Not who can pray, they call you rap or so. Other prayers, prayers, and somebody is dying. You cannot say, please take this and write it. Power in the mouth, pastor in the mouth. That is not the will of God for you. Okay, how can you go to a place? Somebody is hungry, and you say, give your life to Christ now. I say, receive the Holy Ghost back. You are pushing so much to receive the Holy Ghost in hunger. If I did that person, I would rise up use the vocals. Spoke your head press. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. To survive in business, have breakthrough mentality. Have breakthrough mentality. Don't always think break it down. Don't think failure. This thing I want to do now. I hope you can succeed. Don't think that. If you begin to think right to succeed, you never succeed. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Next, to succeed the business. We are not talking about the keys to succeed the business. Number one is to have that breakthrough mentality. Number two, keep seeking the advancement of God's kingdom. So make your business an extension of God's kingdom. When you go to town, other places, we are going to start to have very shortly. Some business premises have WSF homes here attached here. That means there are times when everybody on Saturday knows that those people will be in fellowship for one hour. They have extended, they have invited God into their business. I know that will happen on half very soon in Jesus' mighty name. Matthew 6 and 3. Seeking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing shall be added unto you. 
Another thing, another key for experts in business is joy. 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 Thanksgiving and joy. The business is small. Thank God that you don't have a small business. Don't give room to compare with anybody. Oh Lord, look at my look at my fish is bending. That person's fish is still standing. That's why they will not buy your own and buy your business. Do you know where we go to sell in the market? Indirectly, we are pushing customers to other people. There are some customers have psychology. They are trained in psychology. They look at your face. So who knows if this is an inspired fish you want to say? See the eye. And somebody say, there is a winner now. Which winner? The is speaking. That fish is inspired. We now go to your neighbor and buy. Praise the Lord. <laughs> See, even if you are a mad person and they give you money to go and buy, you see somebody's face around, you can't go and buy from the person. You can't go. Because the person might call you her daughter. But when somebody's smiling, you come in, hey, how much is this? Remember, when somebody has to speak to a girl, you can smile. You know what I'm saying? That's when you can buy him something of 100, 150 euro, and you don't get angry. You say, ah, oh, so man, you try to move, they are very, very fast. Exactly. But somebody who does not have this bit of vanity, and you price it five for some of you to Holy Ghost. <laughs> you demon! If you don't have your head, <laughs> get out of my place now! You send potential customers in. There was a customer who dressed like one kind of useless man to come and be pricing something anyhow because the man was afraid. Have you seen an anam in a less deep person, they have 500,000 per day they do. Yes, I used to be my uncle's warehouse in those days. The man would come and say, Hey, I'm here, 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 I'm here. But when you are green, you look left, you look right. When you can trust the people, you see them, you will go to one source. 50,000 will come out. 20,000. Imagine if that person came to price you. And you said, Eat your head out of here. The man will carry half a million and be working with slippers and enter the level and they will do transactions without telling you what they did. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Maintain joy. Say to yourself, maintain joy. Look at your neighbor. Joy and joy is cast on your face. Say that to your neighbor. Joy. Carry this joy to your business premises. I see it is working for you. I think it is working for you, man. So before you can say I want to go into business, you must learn how to smile. The first thing you need to buy is mirror. Buy mirror. And do the hazard for smiling. Every morning you come and do it. You check the one that fits you very well. Because that I smile at like this might not be good of you. There's no someone who smile, you look like Jim. Praise God. Business requires facial treatment. Do you know before you come out like when my daughter was pregnant and some of you are not aware now? They so much parking her that she looked like a ninja woman. I said, you that I didn't know this one, I don't know again. They parking her very much. So there is facial treatment for business. Is someone hearing me now? Don't carry frustration in your house, your market space. They price it there. <laughs> Who is attending to me now? I did not hear it. I said the price is there. If you don't want to buy, please leave my place. <laughs> you don't remember, she made it. The person will start thinking. Oh my God, what is Oh my God. Mumu is the reason why people's business is scattering everywhere. You want me to talk to you? Yeah, you want me to talk to you? It's just my thing. I hope somebody is hearing something this morning. <laughs> Next key to business success. Ensure your business into the hand of God. Not into the hand of automobile. Ensure your business into the hand of God. 
Make God your partner. How? By tithing. Tighten every proceed that comes out from that business. Tighten every proceed that comes from that business. See, if the idea came from God, don't be too carnal to eat the tithe of God. God is the one that gave you the idea. So if he said, bring one tenth of the increase, I don't think God is greedy for asking that. Some people are doing business, they will never tight until things are so tight for them. If God is the partner, he shouldn't beg you to pay your tithes. You don't need an encouragement. Praise God. Bring him into the business. Ensure that business by tithing. Tithing is the foundational tool for business breakthrough. Tithing. That is the foundational tool for business breakthrough. Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 down to 12 at your own time. Proverbs 28, verse 20. It says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings. Somebody who is faithful is walk, in his work with God shall abound with blessings. But he that maketh haste of his risk shall not be innocent. Look at it. The meaning of this is that God has given you a business. And then you are now saying, If I add this type and give to church, this business will go down. Let me add it and buy more materials. That is how you begin to buy into unimaginable things until that business is closed down. So many people know that it was not the devil that closed their business. It was their inconsistency in keeping covenant that closed it. Now the next thing for you to to be qualified, to be called a business person, is make sure you are entering into business to solve the problem. Don't open business for the sake of prosperity. That's the wrong notion. Make sure you are entering or opening a business for the sake of what? Solving a problem. And problems are the engine room for the building of businesses. There must be something you are solving in order to be in business. The drama we saw, somebody was supposed to be selling fun. And the fun was not fun. Small director can offer the fan. You see, the fan can pull down giant director. So the person went and gathered many things and called it fan. And it's not selling. He is the person solving a problem. That is how many houses catch fire. For selling fake produce, fake wire. Praise God. They give you money to build a particular dimension. So you go and buy fake, fake things and come out with master. So nobody will see. And then the calamity begins to happen in that house. You didn't solve a problem. You created a problem. Because when the house catches fire, most of it can cut the other, it can even damage human lives. So can't you see if a house collapses because somebody sold the inferior material? That the blood of those people that that house crosses is on the head of that man that did that. So when you want to go into business, let it be. That you are in business to solve a problem. To solve a problem. I just gave you an instance of what I was doing in graphics. I said, I cannot see error and, and add the error. Why did I go to university? To see errors and spot it out. Not to type in like that. that, that point. When we are arguing, I say, No, this is not for us to argue. Please take it to those who have it for you before. But me, I'm here to be a professional and do it like professionals. The problem you are solving. Your hand is created to solve problem. When I look at some games, I went back about it yesterday. I saw one. They were just talking and they were doing like this. They were preparing the head and they listening to this very fast with their finger moving. I had have a cousin. They didn't have a show. They started business at the back. Yeah. With the broken meal. Some say broken meal. That means she was as rich, she was too rich to even afford the money. She put broken meal. And this is my sister can just cry. And the fresh part, these partners will come and stay with her with this thing. 
As all the government says, then the home and do my hair. You have said that. Then that and the person will reduce it. Then I will put oil here. I will say, eh, eh. Before you know it, the first person is done. They pay her. Second person is done. They pay her. Maybe in a day she has attended to five persons. And then they will now give the person the, the talking partner. 200 for effective partnership with the talking partner. And the person will not go back. Praise the Lord. Are we talking business? The kingdom way. When I saw what this girl could do with her hand, I know that bankers hardly have time for themselves. I told my auntie, who was in the bank then, I said, Auntie, please, who makes your hair? He said, yeah, What is that? I said, Where will you be on Saturday? He said, I'll be at home. I said, Don't worry, I'm coming. I arranged with this my cousin. She went to the house. I said, Auntie, suspend everything you are doing by doing your hair. I have discussed with her. She came with all the attacks, everything. How is it? I said, time is created now. I don't know. He said, who will pay? I said, leave that. This girl finished this woman's hair. And she walked into the bank the next day. People like this. Sister Ayu, who do you draw? Ah, it's my, it's my, uh, my, 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 That imparted the cause to come and do this for Everybody that was free that weekend, or called Nenna. Nenna closed down the place and went from one banker's house and other to collect what you collect once. Maybe if it's, it's 1,000, then not collect 5,000 in the place. That's why I said you don't need an office to do business. That is one pattern. Office is a way of making your money. The capital you need, shift the friendship. Then you are, you are not praying so that the motor will go slow, 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 slow. Motor will not move faster. Because you know in three months nothing has happened. So you want to use your hand to hold the mood. When they tell you the 24 <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's not waste our time. Let's not waste our time. I just want to say a few things so we can go straight and take the communion. Now keep your secrets and share your principles. That's another success. Keep for success in business. Keep your secret to yourself and share your principles. Don't be too brotherly to ask somebody ask you, how are you doing this? You now open up Baba to my third person, Baba. The house are not like that. The Bible is partitioned into two. The story of Jesus, the person of Jesus, and the principles of Jesus. Why is Coca-Cola thriving? They kept their secrets. They have not come to tell us <laughs> what they mix is to make Coca-Cola one everywhere. So know how to control your mouth. There are people when they are coming to your business services, you just had a mental thing. Anything you are doing, stop it. Because some of them are coming to steal. If you want to sew, carry black color, copy everything. Don't sew again until the person leaves. Am I talking to you now? Yes, sir. If the person wants to be a student, let the person come and say, I want to be your student. The person will pay. Because while I was doing that graphic class, I had that partition for painting. Why do my painting? I have partition to attend to my clients. And I also called had John School of Graphics, where people, before you enroll, you have your laptop with you. I you know what I'm saying? And my church there was 50,000 per student in Abahi. Praise the Lord. I think I'm qualified to tell you about business. Praise the Lord. Don't share your secrets. Share the principles. If you want to get more details about that, see me later in the office in the name of God the Father. The son of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom is a principal factor for business breakthrough. That's why I said, don't share your secrets. Don't share it. Proverbs 11 13. He said, A tell bearer reveals secrets. For he that is of a faithful spirit conceals the matter. Conceals the matter. There is something that kept you. Keep it. Keep it. The next key. Make. God, your business counselor. 
Make God your business counsel. Because in verse 14 of that, he says, Where no counsel is, the people fail. But in the multitude of counselors, there is one safety. And the next key is don't be a shorty for any man. In business, don't shorty anybody. Is someone hear what I'm saying? Don't be a shorty for any man. In verse 15 of the same proverb, he said, He that is shorty for a stranger shall smart for it. Smart means you can use your capital to pay it. Shall smart for it. And he that hated shorty sheep is sure. So the one who does not do I, I, I'm, I'm not the and the and is very sure in business. And finally, you must be born again. Because it takes new birth to join the breakthrough family. For it to be born again, the struggle continues. That's what you're doing to the world. That's how the reward that I've received. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory. Blessed be your name, Lord. We thank you. We give you praise. We exalt you.